afternoon, Unforsaken Women. I am so excited, so humbled, so honored to be here today with you all. Um, this is such an amazing, amazing lesson that the Father has for us. But before we get started, um, I actually wanted to honor the founder of Unforsaken Ministries. Um, this is absolutely a privilege to be here with you all today. Miss Mo and I have never been in a room alone together. I've never had coffee with her. I've never had lunch with her. Um, anytime I've ever been in the presence of this mighty woman of God. It's been with dozens of other people. But the eternal impact that this woman has had on my life, we would be here for 10 more lives to go into the detail. So Miss Mo, I honor you, I honor your life. Um, but most of all, I honor that you have not been the face of Unforsaken, that you've allowed Jesus to be the face of Unforsaken. Happy belated birthday. Um, and with that, we will invite the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day. Um, Father, I'm absolutely 100% dependent on you. I ask that you would cancel any assignments of the enemy to try and disrupt this live, disrupt our internet connection, disrupt any sort of electricity. Father, this live belongs to you and for your glory alone. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, ladies. So today um, is July the 5th, 2023. If you are in the United States and watching, I hope that you had a wonderful 4th of July yesterday. Um, typically, I'm not one to teach a lesson or speak surrounding or around a holiday, if you will, um, but the Holy Spirit said, this is what the ladies need to hear. So you can probably see from the title, Happy Dependence Day. And today we're going to be discussing being 100% dependent on the Lord. Um, so with that, I have a couple um, things I want to just speak on really quickly. Um, I went to the Unforsaken website because I think it's so important to just get the heart of whoever it is that you're going to be speaking to or ministering with or whatever it is. And... On the Unforsaken website, I want to read this. This is the mission. Our mission is to help women renew their minds in the Word of God and to help women and children locally and globally. In our local community of South Lake County, Florida, we serve widows, single moms, and their children. We offer financial help, assisting single moms with the cost of such of rent, utilities, emotional help, counseling, mentorship, discipleship programs, which are so important, and physical support. They go on to list those other areas, uh, food, clothing, household items, all at no cost to the families. I'm saying all this because if we are going to make an impact for the kingdom of God in the way that Unforsaken has outlined, we have to be dependent on the Lord. They go on to say, this is straight from the Unforsaken website, we fund a school in Haiti. I have to ask my husband how to pronounce the city because he is actually originally from Haiti, uh, where 88 children receive a Christian education and a hot meal. We also fund Gospel for Asia, where they are helping families in need of caring for and during disaster to experience the love of God for the first time. Let me stop there and say this. There are women depending on our dependence. There are widows depending on our dependence. There are orphans depending on our dependence. There are sick people depending on our dependence. We have to be 100% unapologetic about our dependence on the Father. Yesterday, we celebrated here in the United States Independence Day, which of course is marked by celebrations, fireworks, all of that sort of thing. Um, and it is an absolute wonderful celebration. I'm so proud to live in this nation. But we are not to be independent when it comes to the kingdom. We have to be 100,000 million percent dependent on our Father in heaven. So all of those things that I've just named off, women, orphans, children, sick people, and most importantly, the unsaved are depending 
on our unapologetic dependence on the Lord. I hope you're getting this. This is so good and this is absolutely worth celebrating. Our dependence on God is worth celebration. Let's talk about some things you can look for in your own life that would be ear markers that you are more independent of God than dependent. When you can identify these things, then you can move forward with becoming more dependent on him so that we can make an impact for his glory to expand and advance the kingdom of God. So here are some signs of independence. Fear of man that is huge. If we are more fearful of man than we are fearful of our problem of our father, we've got a problem. We cannot have more fear in the opinions of man and the expectations of man than we do our fear of the Lord. A healthy fear of the Lord is worship. Number two, self-preservation. If we are more focused on preserving our own self, our own name, our own reputation, the reputation of our families, then we are advancing the kingdom of God. That's a sign of being independent from the Lord, which we absolutely do not want. Preservation, self-preservation really halts the flow of allowing the Holy Spirit to do what he wants to do in and through us and to focus on advancing the kingdom. And number three, and this I think is so, so, so important, the desire to satisfy our flesh, which is temporary over pleasing our eternal God. This is absolutely important and so critical to the time that we are in. We have got to be more focused on pleasing our Father than satisfying our flesh. And I hope you all are catching what I'm saying. So I say all of that to say, happy Dependence Day, women of God. So now you might be thinking, well, oh my gosh, Christina, um, how do I increase my dependence on the Lord? A few simple, simple things. Number one, read and believe the word of God. We have got to be completely dependent on the Lord and also be so excited about reading the word, understanding the word, and then applying that word in our life. Reading the word of God, savoring the word of God, studying the word of God are all faith builders and an encouragement to you, but also to the other people in your life. Whether those are people that are close to you in your life, or whether those are people that um, you may not know personally, that you may not have close contact with. I just, at the top of this live, wanted to honor Miss Mo, who I don't have a personal relationship with, but I'll tell you what, her dependence on the Lord has been a blessing to me personally. Whether or not we have a lunch or a coffee date or whatever, that has nothing to do with it. I depended on her dependence because she has stuck with the Lord, just like countless other women um, in our local community and then, of course, the globe. Um, so that's really important. Number two, pray with expectation. This is gigantic. We're going to go ahead and crack the word of God right here, right now, because there's a good verse that I want you all to take a look at. And all the verses that um, I'll be go over to, going over today will be in the uh, comment section down below. So you don't have to write it down right now. You can go and look at that later. Uh, Psalm chapter 5, verse 3. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I plead my case to you and watch expect expectantly. So we are not just to pray and hope for the best. Uh, we are to pray with expectation, knowing that our prayers are not heal hitting the ceiling in our prayer closet, but our prayers are going straight to the ear 
of the Lord. The creator of the universe is hearing your prayers in your car, in your prayer closet, in your kitchen, in your laundry room, when you're driving down the street to go get your children from school or pick up prescriptions or make an Amazon return. The Lord is hearing those whispers. He's hearing those shouts. He's hearing those prayers as you're falling asleep. That is what you want. And number three, this is gigantic is to share. We're going to look at Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Verse 11. And it says this. They conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they did not love their lives to the point of death. That goes back to self-preservation. We cannot be embarrassed to share our testimony. Tell people what the Lord has brought you through. Tell people what the Lord has carried your family through. Tell people uh, the things that you have struggled with in your flesh that the Lord has helped you to overcome. That, my friends, will give the devil two black eyes. I'm here to tell you. Share your testimony. It is an absolute deadly weapon of mass destruction to the kingdom of darkness. Share your testimony. When you are dependent on the Lord and you are not fearful of man, you can share your testimony and be unapologetic and be absolutely fearless to say, hey, I was sexually abused. Hey, I used to be on drugs. Hey, I was struggling with alcohol. Hey, I struggled with premarital sex or homosexual attraction. Or you take your pick, food addiction, poor time management, whatever it is, share your testimony. It will give the devil two black eyes. And let me tell you, when you start stretching your legs in that area of your life where you become fearless of man and fearful of your father and start sharing your testimony with power and confidence that your daddy is going to get the glory, I'm telling you what, your dependent is going to outshine your independence every single time. So let's move forward and I pray that this is blessing you. I pray that this is hitting your heart and, and opening your mind uh, to areas of your life and ask the Lord. Ask the Lord, Father, what areas of my life have I been more independent of you than dependent? And he will begin to highlight those areas in your life. And I promise you, provide opportunities for you to be more dependent on him and more sold out to him than you were before. This is gonna be critical as we move into the second half of 2023. He really wants us to be more dependent on him than we were January through June. July through December, stretch your leg independence. Be dependent on him. This is a, a saying that a lot of people love to say. It's one of our Christianese type sayings. Oh, just you guys got to step out on faith, step out on faith. And that is absolutely wonderful. Yes, you should step out on faith. Um, but that step out on faith has got to be followed with a walk. So you can step, but you also have to keep in mind, you've got to walk close with the Lord. Step out on faith and walk on dependence. Write that down. Step out on faith and walk on dependence. When I tell you this, there are employees that are depending on you to be dependent on him. There are cities that are dependent on you to be dependent on him. There are schools that are dependent on you to be dependent on him. There are families that are dependent on you to be dependent on him. There are communities of unsaved, unchurched, backslidden women that are depending on you to be dependent on him. That's either gonna get you excited or it's gonna get you excited. And I hope it's getting you excited because this ministered to me like you would not believe. And I'll tell you what, when I asked the Lord what areas I was more dependent on myself or more independent of him, he began to show me like clockwork, Christina, this area, you're independent of me, 
You've got to be more dependent on me in this area. We are here today to celebrate dependence, independence. So let's move right along, girls. We're, we're really, we're getting some things today, aren't we? We are getting some things today. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is obedience. Obedience is a form of worship. Obedience is a form of worship. Let's go ahead and go over to Genesis chapter 5. I'm sorry, excuse me. Genesis chapter 22, starting at the fifth verse. That's where the five came in. I knew there was a five in there somewhere. I'm going to read it to you. And again, you guys can find all these verses. They'll be in the comment section below. Um, you read them for yourself and ask, ask the Holy Spirit to, to minister to you and open your mind, open your heart uh, to some areas of your life that you need to be illuminated um, so that you can be aware of your independence. If we don't know, we don't know. So ask the Holy Spirit. Genesis chapter 22, verse 5. Then Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there to worship. Then we'll come back to you. Worship. Remember that. Going down to verse 8, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. Then the two of them walked on together. When they arrived at the place that God had told him about, Abraham built an, author, an altar there and arranged the wood. He bound his son Isaac and placed him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out, took a knife to slaughter his son. Let's pause there. Do you or do you not think <laughs> Abraham had to be dependent on the Lord? His dependence was evidence all the way back up at the fifth verse where it says they were going to worship. His dependence on the Lord was a form of worship. His obedience to the Lord was a form of worship. Let's continue, girls. Let's continue. This is getting good. I'm telling you what. You guys got to read this Bible. It's some good stuff in here. But the angel of the Lord called him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, two times he got his attention. He replied, here I am. Then he said, do not lay a hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know, for now I know that you fear the Lord. Since you have not withheld your only son from me, Abraham looked up and saw a ram and offered it as a burnt offering in the place of his son. And Abraham named that place, the Lord will provide. So today is it, it is said, it will be provided on the Lord's mountain. Let me tell you something. If you all know me, if you're watching and you know me, um, you know, I have six children. I cannot see myself in the position to be this dependent on the Lord. In my flesh, I just am like, Lord, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know, Lord. I don't know. Okay? But this is the type of dependence on the Lord we have to have in this hour, girls. It is necessary. And if you're like, wow, I don't know. I didn't know either. I did not know either. Dependence is worship. Dependence is worship. And I'll tell you what, complete dependence on God is such a sweet form of worship. It is sweet. It is precious to the Lord. It is precious to the Lord. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. We got some scriptures today. We got some scriptures today. Dependence cannot coexist with worry. It can't. 
And I know that there's probably moms and wives and women and grandmothers and aunties and pastors and whatever you are in your life um, on here. And the enemy wants to bind us with worry. That's what he would like us to do. He would rather us be a slave to worry than to be free in dependence. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. You cannot be dependent and anxious at the same time. We're either going to be dependent or we're going to be anxious. Take your pick, girls. It's only going to be one that wins. Dependence or anxiousness. Let's go over here to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. We're going to have a little bit of Christmas in July. For a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father. And what's the last thing, girls? Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Our dependence cannot coexist with anxiousness or worry. It cannot. We have to pull on the Prince of Peace. I want to pause here and have everyone say this prayer. Lord, I am dependent on you. And because you are the Prince of Peace, I have no worry. Lord, I am dependent on you, and because you are the Prince of Peace, I have no worry. Thank you, Father. Because you are the Prince of Peace, I have no worry. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are the Prince of Peace, I have no worry. I'm telling you what, God is so good. He is so good to us. Anytime you feel like, Lord, I want to be dependent on you in this area of my life, but you feel the enemy creeping in with anxiousness, say that prayer. It's simple. It'll take you 10 seconds, probably not even. Pull on the Prince of Peace. Pull on the Prince of Peace. As I mentioned earlier, uh, yesterday was Independence Day here in the United States. And this is important for us to realize that we have the natural and then we have the supernatural. Here in the United States, freedom and liberty are earmarkers of independence. Freedom and liberty are, are earmarkers of our independence. However, in the supernatural, in the kingdom of God, obedience is the earmarker of freedom. I'm going to say that one more time. In the natural, most especially here in the United States, freedom and liberty are earmarkers for independence. In the supernatural, in the kingdom of God, obedience is the earmarker for freedom. So yesterday we celebrated freedom and liberty. Today I want us to celebrate freedom and liberty by being dependent on the Father and not independent of Him. Increase your dependence. That is what we are here to celebrate today. Let's jump over to James chapter 1, and I think we might get ready to, to close on out here, girls. James chapter 1, starting at the fifth verse. Now, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith without doubting for the doubter is like a surging sea driven and tossed 
by the wind. Verse 7, that person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord, being double-minded and unstable in all his ways, let the rich, excuse me, being double-minded and unstable in all of his ways. So dependence, being completely reliant on the Lord, we will receive wisdom. Wisdom, insight, strategy. Well, Christina, I, I want to start a ministry. I want to write a book. I want to have a podcast. I want to minister to the unfortunate in my community. I want to minister in a different country. Um, I would like to grow my family. I would like to start my family. I would like to have be, be married. All of these things be dependent on the Lord. You need wisdom to be a mom. You need wisdom to own a business. You need wisdom to be a good employee. You need wisdom to be a good volunteer. You need wisdom. And that wisdom comes from the Father. And it comes from being dependent on the Father. Ask and he will give generously and ungrudgingly. It's simple. It's very, very simple. So I think that'll about do it. I pray this was an absolute blessing to you. And today we are celebrating dependence, dependence, not to be confused with independence. We don't want to be independent of our Father. We want to be 100% completely dependent on Him. Ignore that noise in the background. We have people working on the roof. Okay? All right, let's pray and then we will close it out. Father, thank you so much for this divine appointment, this amazing opportunity. Father, I pray that this word would land in the hearts and the minds of your precious girls. Father, that we would become more dependent on you going into the second half of the year than we were the first half of the year. Father, we repent. We ask for your forgiveness that we would be more um, conscious of being dependent and being 100% reliant on you. Father, forgive us for any area of our life that we have overlooked and thought we could do it on our own without you or detached from you. Father, we repent and we move forward with clear hearts and clear minds. Father, we pray this all in your son's name, in Jesus' name, the name above every name. Amen. All right, girls, well, have a great rest of your day. It was an honor and a privilege and humbling to be here with you all today. Um, I also, of course, want to honor Miss Mo, every person that's on support staff at Unforsaken, um, her sweet, precious daughter, Sarah, Sochi Elmore, Elizabeth Klein, Miss Anne Marie. There are so many people I do not know by name um, that keep this ministry and moving forward and advancing the kingdom of God. And thank you ladies for maintaining the face of the ministry and being that Jesus is the face of this ministry. Uh, there's so much to do. And most of all, thank you for your absolute dependence on the Lord. All right, God bless you. Have a great day.